So I was playing Minesweeper the other day, and I happened to come across an 8 while I was playing. But not just one 8, two 8s, three 8s, and 4, and 5, and 6, 7, 8, 9. You might be thinking to yourself, wow, you're so lucky and cool. You're not thinking that. Hi, this is a Minesweeper editor. I made this in like 8 hours yesterday. Um, you can edit the mine in Sweeper. Minesweeper. I don't really have a name for this. I, I only call this like... I, I call this game Minesweeper editor. I don't really have a name for it. But you can... Yay. You can change the width of the... Yeah. Yeah, I made this in Godot. Um, in like eight hours, it was not that hard. Since I, see, I already made a working Minesweeper um a few months ago. I don't remember when. So I just ported a lot of that um, from Godot 3.5 to here. A lot of the features, though, uh, had to be changed because the tile map system is very different. But a lot of it stayed the same. It's just you're now creating your own thing. Um. So the way I did this is basically this is just a tile map of a set size and when you hold down the left button, left mouse, you can draw and you're placing my sound and if you click play, you can play your thing. So you can clear it, you can toggle dark mode, that's just aesthetics. And you change the width of course. Um, Probably the hardest thing to get uh, working with this. Um, getting these mines to actually carry over to here, that was not easy to figure out. But once I once I figured it out, it wasn't too bad. So yeah, I just wanted to show off this cool creation. For some additional features, um, you can also turn on LR recording or turn it off. Um, because if you didn't know, you can um, press L and R at the same time. Sorry, left left mouse button, right mouse button at the same time to chord. Um, but in some versions of the game, you only need to left click to chord. So you can turn that option on. I was thinking of making it so that it spawns. Sorry, it creates a new window um, when you press play that is accurate to like the original Minesweeper, like. Is it like a, it's an actual small window, so it, it makes it more believable, but I didn't have time, and I didn't feel like it was worth it. Alright, here we are in Godot. I just wanted to sh uh, show some of the behind the scenes here. It's a really messy UI. Um, I've basically crammed everything in the UI in this one scene, which is not good. It's not ideal. You want to have it separated, but it's not that big of a project anyway. And then you have the minefield over here. And then you have the whole package. And here's some of the script. Nobody really cares. Um, I guess the more interesting parts are the sprites, which there aren't actually a lot of, it's just the borders and the actual tiles, which I use for the tile set for the minefield. Not that big of a project. Again, I made this in eight hours. Just wanted to play around with Godot 4. This is my first Godot 4 project. Um, it was pretty fun and there's a lot of cool changes in Godot 4 that should make development very, very much more convenient. So that's about it. Uh, oh yeah, you can download the game uh, in the Git GitHub. Sorry, the HIO link in the description if you want it. It's not that interesting. So yeah, that's about it. See ya.